Senior Correspondent John Miller, former FBI Deputy Director, joins us now. So what should we expect from well, the NRA other than a statement? If history is a guide um, and you go on past behavior, the NRA, um, the last time they were pushed into a corner was when murder was at its all-time high in the U.S. in the mid-1990s, and they came out with support for the instant background check system we use today. Mostly they come out and they say we need to do a better job of enforcing existing laws, not new laws. And that means things like um, more names from uh, people who have been adjudicated and mentally defective to be added to the database of prohibited people. Right now there's only uh, 1,700,000. Lots of states don't contribute at all because of uh, privacy ro rules. Uh, more tracking down of people who aren't supposed to have guns and things like that. I'm curious, though, if they'll do more, because they've already said that on Friday on this press conference they're going to have a major press conference. I'm curious if they're going to say something more. You're right that that's been their track record. What about gun sales? Because we've all read that gun sales are up huge. How, how much were they up after Friday's shooting? Well, Saturday may turn out to be, we don't have the numbers in yet, but by doing the projected math, may turn out to be the third biggest day for gun sales in U.S. history. It could land in between 130, 120, 130,000 guns sold that day, the day after this massacre. And why is that? Well, it's the traditional Christmas holiday rush in gun sales, A, and whenever there's talk of new gun control, that always spurs sales also. All right, John Miller, thank you.